What's going on guys? I just got done taking a nice cold shower. Wake me up, you know what I mean? At first it was so hard to do, but and since it's summer now, so it's a little bit easier to take a nice cold shower when it's 90 degrees out. It feels so nice and cool. But at first, when I first started doing a cold shower, man, I was freezing, I was shivering, like I was about to go into shock or something. But I got used to it and it feels great now. It wakes you up, get you energized, and I think it's good for your skin, right? How's my skin? It's not bad, right? <laughs> but yeah, um, I woke up at like seven o'clock today, felt energetic, drinking a little bit of coffee, about to go edit some videos. And you guys come along and see what I do in a day. So I just got in some stickers. You guys want some stickers? Hit me up on Instagram at G-M-F-I-R-E-D. And I'll ship you guys some free stickers. This is what they look like. Bim, 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 bim. Pretty nice. Turn out pretty nice. My only complaint is they're pretty hard to take off the stickers. This, uh, the sheets in the back. You, you kind of have to like peel it up for a while. But I wish it made it easier. Like have cuts or something in the back. Just make it a little bit easier. Just like have like a little spot out right here that you can just pull peel it off real fast. But yeah, if you guys want some stickers, let me know. Hit me up on IG and I got you guys. <laughs> to head out to the post office ship out some stuff i saw on ebay and then i go get a little haircut it's been a while my hair's a little long i get like a little taper or something see what hopefully i do it right it's my first time going to this barber but usually when i go to barbers they have a trend to not listen to what i tell them to do i'll i'll say something and they literally do the opposite and it's pretty annoying but let's go see What's up? And I'll see you guys in a bit. Hopefully, I like my haircut. <laughs> Man, sad news. The postal office is closed today. Jeez. Uh, I guess since yesterday was Father's Day, so it rolled over to Monday, and I guess they're closed today. Dang, that sucks. I guess. You guys just have to wait for one more day to get your shipment tomorrow. <laughs> just got done with my haircut. Oh, what do you got, thing? I gotta fix my slide burn, but it's like a high taper ish type of cut. Pretty good for summer, right? About to head to the gym, get a workout in, and then get something to eat later. I like to hit up the sauna for about five to ten minutes before I work out. Warm up a little bit, stretch up my muscles, stretch up my arms, my legs, so I don't get cramps, so I don't pull a muscle while, you know, working hard, baby, you know what I mean? And it also feels good, because I really don't sweat that much, so I got to get warmed up, so I, my body can get warmed up, so I can sweat more. If I go work out cold, I don't know why, I just, like, don't really sweat as much. And, you know, when you work out, you want to sweat, right? You want to get better. So, what do you guys think of my haircut? I was just going to get, like, a small taper right here, but I don't know. I like it. The guy recommended me to get a higher taper. So, it's not bad, right? I'm trying to grow the top longer. I'm going to do, like, a slick back or something later on. Cool thing about this uh, gym is they have a movie theater cardio machine room. So it's like a movie theater, like a legit movie theater with a whole bunch of cardio machine equipments. So cool. 
help you like, you know, not get bored when you're doing cardio. So this movie theater, cardio machine room, you have the lights turned down, surround sound, air conditioning, everything except the popcorn, right? Awesome movie theater. So I just got home, took a shower, and it's about 4.29, 4.30. Haven't eaten anything since 8 or 9 p.m. yesterday. So we're about to break our fast with a protein shake. So let's get into it, guys. Woo! First, we got to start off our base. Some zero sugar oat milk, or you can use almond milk, whatever. And I like to get a little bit of peanut butter in there as well. Our protein of choice. Organic plant-based protein. And some old-fashioned oats. I'm kind of counterintuitive. This is all vegan right here. You guys can do all this and be all vegan. But I like to put in a little bit of collagen. It's good for the skin. And of course, our fruit of the day is banana. So it's a peanut chocolate, peanut butter, banana milkshake. That is super healthy for you. What is going on here? It's like a cheat code. I'm hacking this. Let's get started, guys. And of course, we got to put a little bit of greens in it. Just so we don't have to eat a salad. Who eats salad now today? Drink your salad. Pour a little bit of almond milk in there, or oat milk in this case. Bella bean bella bean. Our peanut butter powder. Bang. A handful of oats, just to get some fibers in there. One scoop of our chocolate base protein powder. Plant-based organic protein. Now, for the top, the banana. It's an old banana, but it's gonna be very banana-y. The older the banana, the sweeter, and the more banana flavor it'll have. Right on the dot, look at that. Wow, I am good at this. Cheers, guys. Breakfast. Break fast. Break fast. Break fast. Breakfast means you break your fast. Breakfast can be any hour of the day, as long as it's your first meal of that day, right? Break fast. Mmm. Honestly, guys, anything and everything tastes so good when you're hungry, right? Doesn't matter what it is. If you're hungry enough, everything will be delicious. And this right here tastes like the best milkshake I've ever had. And honestly, I'm not wrong. Peanut butter, chocolate, bananas, delicious. And it's so healthy for you. I just hacked life. Mmm. That's so good. So the perks of intermittent fasting is I can eat whatever I want because I pretty much only eat one to two meal a day. One big meal and maybe like a snack or something. So now, 
I'm rinsing out some rice with cold water just to clean up some starches and dirt or whatever might be in there. And, but the main reason is to get out some starches because you don't want too many starch in your rice. Um, this is my first time ever doing this, so we're testing it out today. It's the, I, I call it citrus rice with chicken broth. So instead of using water to cook the rice, I'll use some oranges and some chicken broth. And I'll season it with like salt, pepper, and stuff like that, a little bit of garlic. See how it turns out with my nice, delicious, juicy, medium rare ribeye steak. That's the perk of intermittent fasting. I don't have to eat salad, chicken, and broccoli all day. You know, I mean, I'm not in great shape, but we'll get there, we'll get there. It's just consistency and willpower. You know, willpower to not eat that hamburger at 10 in the morning, but you can eat it at 6 p.m., right? It's patience as well, but let's see how this rice turns out, all right? Sad news, I am out of chicken broth, but we still got some nice, delicious oranges. So we're just gonna use water and oranges and maybe some lemon and spices. But we'll see how it turns Getting out. We're ready to make our main course here. Beautiful ribeye steak. I season it with salt and pepper on one side. And uh, then this side, salt and pepper. But a sprinkle of powdered garlic for a little extra flavor. Make sure our skillet is smoking hot. We want this medium to medium rare. So, you see it smoking. Lay it over. Bam. Beauty. Let me show you guys a cool trick. You see we don't have a tongs or anything. So how am I gonna flip this? Let me show you. So how I'm gonna flip it and it's gonna make an awesome flame. See, you see that flame right there? Get ready, watch. Oh, I want that smoking flame right there. See that? Nice. Look at that beauty. Gives uh, the steak a nice smoky flavor. Got some garlic and butter here. Ooh, hot sauce. Now we let it rest. Have our delicious steak plated. We're gonna let it rest for about five, 10 minutes. Look at all that crust, that nice, delicious crust. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think I put the garlic in a little bit too early. Maybe I could wait for another minute or two because the garlic's kind of burnt, but more flavor, right? As we're waiting for our steak to rest, Finished our rice, super fluffy, nice, delicious. I call it the citrus rice. I think I did pretty good. I think I did pretty good. Taste. That is what you call perfect rice. Get into it. Yum, 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 yum. Let's see how our steak turned out. So a ribeye steak has two parts. The outer layer called the ribeye cap, which is the nicest, the fattier part, but the more leaner. I mean, not leaner, the fattier part, but it's very tender and juicy and just soft and delicious. And the inner part, which is just like,
pretty much a soil orange. It's just lean. <laughs> so we're gonna try a piece of the cat first. Bam. Medium rare. Delicious. Very garlicky, pretty salty. Not too salty, but with the rice, perfect. Mm. It's so good. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but this rice is delicious. Good As always guys, thank you so much for watching my video and please if you haven't yet give me a subscribe and follow me on Instagram at G-M-F-I-R-E-D. Thank you guys. Fire out!